relationship. The only thing the United States of America have ever helped Cameroon and many other African countries is with weapons, military support. That is the only thing we can talk of. Hello and welcome to TFA Analysis. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. The President of the United States of America, Joe Biden, invited 49 African countries, including the Chairman of the African Union, to attend the U.S. African Leaders Summit that will take place on the 13th to the 15th of December 2022. And here we are going to talk about what is the summit all about. When you read it on social media, it is to strengthen their partnership, their relationship, their collaboration. And then I are asking the question, collaboration in which domain? Because African is moving from worst to worst. For all this year, we inherit atrocity in the names of democracy from European countries and America. And that is the suffering. That was the day Africa became a suffering continent. And or throughout, we have been hearing about summit, U.S. African summit, European African summit, Asia African summit. And then these people are the one inviting African leaders to come to their own continent in order to have the summit. And this summit for all this year is all about, we have been hearing on social media, on TV, that is partnership in order to create better standard of living for the citizen. And where is the better standard of living? The United States of America have been in Africa for many years. And if you ask this particular question, what have they been doing in Africa? You will not have any answer because they have been doing absolutely nothing. United States of America is behind most of the suffering, the killing in Africa and Cameroon in particular. The African people have been suffering. Many African countries or Africans are living below poverty line. Many African countries in the whole world, when you interview people around, what they will tell you is that African countries are poor. African people are living in hunger. They don't have food to eat. They don't have shelter. They are fighting every day. And then, what is the partnership for? Because the partner, partnership could have been to reduce hunger. The partnership could have been to reduce poverty. The partnership could have been to create be more houses so that African people will stop living on trees and living in houses. But what the media are telling us. And every year, the, 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 the government, the leadership of African countries, they will carry the taxpayer money and travel to, to Europe and America and use it there, dump it there, abandon it there, store it there, spend them there. That is capital flight. Draining the resources of Africans indirectly. Because just take for example the government of Cameroon, they travel to the United States of America with 13 ministers, including bodyguard of the president and those ministers, their secretary, excluding them. I'm talking excluding the, the bodyguards of the president, excluding the, 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 the secretary of all these ministers, excluding the wife of the president and her own company. How much would it cost the people of Cameroon? People living without root, without electricity, without water, without food. And you say it is a summit to better the standard of the people, to strengthen relationship. The only thing the United States of America have ever helped Cameroon and many other African countries is with weapons, military support. That is the only thing we can talk of. Because we have schools. In Cameroon and in Africa, school without benches, a school without infrastructure, a school without teachers. The United States of America refused to invest in that domain because they, they are using the illiteracy in Africa for their own advantage. People are living under poverty line. They refuse to invest in agriculture, in agricultural related industry. 
they refuse to invest in Africa and in Cameroon in particular because they are using the poverty in Africa as an advantage, as a big business. People in Africa, as the media are saying, are living without food. They don't even have food to eat. Many are living on less than one dollar a day. Yet, United States of America is aware of this. But the only thing they can give to African country are weapons, war weapons, to fight who? To fight among themselves. Because when, as they are fighting, that is how they are stealing our resources indirectly. Can you, can anybody, anywhere tell us or tell me what the United States of America has done in Cameroon or any African country? The partnership we are talking about. What is Cameroon gaining from the United States of America? Nothing. Gone. To shoot who? Our own people. They have traveled, more than 49 African countries have traveled to the United States of America to sign that partnership again. To think of ways to create many rebel groups so that they, they will be benefited from. That is the partnership. The wicked leaders of Africa are partnering with the United States of America to torture, to maltreat, to marginalize, to oppress, to repress Africans. That is the partnership, if you don't know. The only thing the United States has given to Africa, and Cameroon in particular, are war weapons. Are creating, they are creating and uh, uh, supporting rebel groups, telling them that if you stand against the government, we are going to support you. They have sent weapons, causing confusion everywhere. And 49 African countries will be sitting. They have abandoned their government, they have abandoned their duty in their respective country, and they will be sitting in America. Many say for three days. But some when but last week they will be spending some will be spending months, some will be spending three weeks there, spending the taxpayer money while their people are living in poverty. Why there is no medical facility? The United States of America cannot invest in that. They cannot help African in that. They cannot help African be a school, be a hospital, create plantation, industry. No. It is only with war weapons. That is the partnership. 